channel. So in this video we're going to be talking about creating your perfect classic wardrobe. Now by perfect I mean creating a wardrobe that's really timeless, that's really great for your style and just a really core cool collection of pieces that you can wear over and over again. Now by no means am I an expert in this but I have found what works for me and I have definitely learned from past experiences and really bad shopping choices so I thought I would share some of my tips on how to create a really timeless and classic wardrobe that's suitable for you. Step number one is to plan and create wish lists. One of the steps towards resisting impulse buying is to work towards investment purchases and smarter purchases. And by that, I think creating wish lists are really great because it therefore means that you're going to work towards pieces that you really want. I have talked about this in the past, but I use an application called ShopTagger to create wish lists. I have actually partnered with ShopTagger on this video, but I'm really excited to share this application with you because it really is the perfect application for creating really curated wish lists. So if you're not familiar with ShopTagger, it's basically an application that you can have on your desktop or on your mobile and it basically just allows you to create wish lists. It's really simple and it's free. It's something that's so useful for every season but it's also not just specific to style. I've used this for when I'm redecorating, for just bigger purchases like handbags that way I can get a really good overlook at all the bags that I have my eye on but it's just a really great way to help you save money because on top of creating wish lists if you save an item to a wish list it will notify you if that product has reduced in price if it goes on sale or also if that product was out of stock when you wanted it it will let you know when it's back in stock. So you can add this widget to your toolbar so whenever you see an item that you like on any retailer you can just save it directly to your wish list from there. So the link for that app is in the description box down below so if you do want to download it and give it a go and also let me know how you get on with it. Step number two, gathering inspiration. I personally use Pinterest for everything. Um, I love Pinterest, I spend hours on there and I create boards of style inspirations, trends, um, outfits that I really love, also home decor stuff, food, just everything. Uh, so I gather inspiration on Pinterest, also Instagram boards. I have so many things saved to my Instagram account and also other bloggers that I admire, whose style I really like. I'll get inspiration from them too. So once I have created my board, you kind of see a pattern with what you like, things that you're gravitating towards, trends that you like, you know, you'll get an idea of your style from that. And I think that's a really great way to then curate your wardrobe because that way you have a sense of what you want to reflect in your own personal style and then you can get pieces that help you to achieve that. The internet is literally your oyster and there is so much inspiration and so much out there for you to gain inspiration from. Step number three, declutter or clear out. So this is something that I did at the beginning of this year, I really desperately needed a clear out. I had so many pieces in my wardrobe that were sitting there that I hadn't worn for about a year and they were just sitting there in my closet gathering dust taking up a lot of space and also really confusing me when it came to picking up my outfits. I was so overwhelmed by all these pieces but I only wore about five of those things repeatedly. So I had a big clear out. I feel so much better with my wardrobe now because it means that I can pick outfits out better, I save more time in the morning, I just have a clearer mind when it comes to getting dressed. During the process of me clearing out, I noticed a pattern in the things that I was throwing out. A lot of it was obviously colour, bolder prints, pieces that I thought, oh, this is quite cool, quite trendy, um, that I wanted to try out, but just never particularly liked on myself when I did wear it. I noticed that I was throwing those pieces out. I also noticed that the pieces that I was throwing out were pieces that I bought on a whim. And definitely pieces that I bought when I was out shopping and not online shopping. I find when I'm out and about, I will impulse buy a lot more than I do online. But when you have a clear out, you do kind of learn from your mistakes. You learn what pieces that you shouldn't buy in the future, 
what silhouettes you don't like you'll end up saving a lot more money in the future finally I wanted to just share some of my personal classic wardrobe pieces number one for me is a trench coat I did touch base on this a little earlier but a trench coat for me is just such a classic and timeless piece it's so chic it goes with absolutely everything it's very fail proof it goes with most 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 outfits that I throw on whether it's something really simple like jeans a t-shirt or a jumper or whether it's a skirt or a dress it just fits perfectly over everything number two are turtlenecks I definitely am a avid wearer of turtlenecks they are my go-to uh, I just love how chic they look how put together they are I prefer the way it elongates my neck as opposed to a round neck jumper it's just something that I tend to really gravitate towards every day and pull out and just throw a coat over it really easy to style number three is a white t-shirt just a very classic white t-shirt because it's something that's just seasonal it's something you're going to wear all the time this is probably something I would suggest as a must-have in your wardrobe and finding the perfect t-shirt for you the perfect silhouette that you like I really like a slightly higher round neck um, a little bit boxy my favorite one is from and the stories and you really cannot go wrong with a white t-shirt and jeans it's the perfect combination it always looks chic and again it never goes out of style number four jeans finding the perfect jeans for your body shape and the kind of style that you like if you're a bit more relaxed then maybe something like mom jeans for me personally I love a straight leg because I think that they elongate my legs a little bit I absolutely love my Topshop straight leg jeans I wear them so often I think I wear them every two days because I love them they're so comfortable they have a bit of stretch in them they wear so well the colors are perfect and also I think the sizing of Topshop jeans are amazing number five is a really classic bag so for me bags and accessories in general really elevate your whole look I wear very simple outfits a bag and my accessories kind of tie everything together one of my favorite ones which was actually sent to me but I wear all the time is by a brand called Cafoon it's a black lock bag it's just perfect for everyday use it looks really smart it looks really sophisticated it fits my camera my wallet my phone some makeup it fits so much in this little bag and it's just perfect to carry around every day but again just finding that perfect bag for your wardrobe that you believe complements your personal style reflects your personal style and who you are is really essential for curating your wardrobe six the perfect shoe so this is definitely dependent again on your style I wear trainers pretty much all the time I really just find myself feeling so much more comfortable if I'm in trainers even if it's with a slightly smarter look and my favorite trainer brand I think everyone has their own personal favorite is Behas or Vages so they're a really lovely brand they're very economically friendly they are ethically sourced they're vegan such a great brand um, and the shoes are so comfortable too and also an evening shoe is so key and the odd chance that I do go out in the evening um, or I'm going out out I really like a strappy path heel so heels again is something that is again tailored to your personal style what you prefer I just like a strappy heel because it's quite simple and very minimal and they just go with absolutely everything it's very timeless I can definitely wear it next year and the year after that and also with dresses or also with jeans the seven is a classic shirt whether that's a white shirt a blue shirt stripes it's such a versatile piece to have in your wardrobe because there are so many different occasions and so many different ways you can wear a shirt you could wear it to an office you could wear it casually with some jeans um, you could definitely dress it up in the evening it's so versatile one of my favorite shops recently to shop in is Arquette because the pieces are just such good quality it's a little bit more expensive than places like H&M 
um, and Topshop but it's worth the money because they concentrate a lot more on creating the perfect key pieces. Number eight, very vague but just something dressy whether it's a dress or a skirt, just something that you could wear out in the evening or if you have something formal to go to. One of my personal favourite fabrics to wear out is silk. I really like that it's comfortable, it's relaxed, it doesn't look too much, it's just a very subtle piece to wear and I also find the kind of cuts that silk pieces are in really flattering. Moving on to number 9 which is prints. Now a lot of people won't believe that prints are very timeless but some prints definitely are. For me, stripes just never go out of fashion, it's been a staple in my wardrobe for a long time. I find it so versatile. It's something that I have been able to wear professionally and casually. I now really like to wear it casually with just some trainers and an oversized jumper. Number 10, sunglasses. So if you do follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I am a massive sunglasses wearer. I wear them all the time. I in fact feel very bare without them. So for me, investing in my perfect pair of sunglasses was kind of a given and I think it's such a lovely treat to yourself. It definitely will elevate your look, especially in summer if you're wearing very simple outfits. My favourite pair and my go-to pair of sunglasses is by Celine. It's the Baby Audrey's. I just love how classic and clean this shape is. It goes with pretty much everything and I just think that they really complement all my outfits. Now finally, I did want to keep it at 10 pieces but we're going to push on to 11 because this is kind of one of my essentials. I am such an outerwear person, I love coats and I think that investing in a really perfect coat that's not just restricted to that one year is so important. Coats are obviously a bit more expensive and if you find the perfect one that's maybe a bit more expensive, it will be worth it because you'll be able to wear it again the year after and hopefully the year after that. So I treated myself to this coat by Nanushka. It's something I had my own for so long. I really wanted a checkered print coat. I love a robe style. It has every single element that I love. The quality is amazing. It's really heavy. It's really warm. Absolutely worth every single penny. I'm so happy with it. So I think if you find a style that really suits you, complements your wardrobe, maybe even elevates it by having something different like a check print. It's great because it will last you that much longer than a high street coat that you picked up because of the price because I find a lot of high street coats bobble quite quickly or a lot of um, fluff transfers onto them so, so you tend to have to repurchase your coats every year because they just don't wear as well as something a bit more premium. Shops like Under the Stories or Arquette or Cos stock amazing quality coats so it's really worth spending it could just be an extra 50 pounds on a coat but it will last you that much longer and that kind of rounds up all of my ideas and tips on creating your perfect wardrobe i hope this was informative and helpful and let me know what you thought of this video but in the meantime i will see you all in my next video bye